say. Parabola. First, we'll try to understand the definition of parabola. Okay. Parabola. So, what is a parabola? A parabola is a locus of a point. A parabola. Parabola is a locus. Is a locus of a point. Locus of a point which moves in a plane. Which moves in a plane. Which moves in a plane. In such a way, in such a way that its distance, that its distance from a fixed point, distance from a fixed point is always, always equal to its distance distance from a fixed straight line fixed straight line what does it mean now parabola is a locus the word locus means path path of a point which moves in a plane such a way let's say this is the point p this is the point P which moves in a plane in such a way that it is distance from the fixed point. Distance from the fixed point, let's say this is the fixed point. Yes. This mm. is fixed point. Distance from the fixed point. This distance. Distance from the fixed point is always equal to its distance from the fixed straight line. This is the fixed straight line. Mm. Fixed straight line now distance from this straight line perpendicular distance this distance both the distances will be equal this point moves in such a way that the distance from the fixed point and distance from the fixed line is always equal that is the parabola so the ratio ps over pm the ratio see from here we start this is the point P. From here we start. This is the point P. From point P, we find the distance PS. And from point P, we find that this, this is PM. So PS over PM is called E. That is the eccentricity. 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 And that E, E is equal to 1. E equals to 1. I told you, no? the distance will be equal. If E, e is equal e. to 1, the conic is called a parabola. Conic is called a parabola. Make a note of it. See. The parabola can be of this form. The standard parabola I'm talking about. Standard mm -hmm. parabola. See, I'm drawing the diagram here. Uh, the first one. The first one is like this. One. This is the parabola. Touching at origin. This is called vertex. Vertex at the origin. Now see. The coordinates of the vertex is 0, 0 in this case. If this is this parabola, so the x is negative. So this is this one. This is y square is equal to minus 4. And then this one. This one is 4a1. And then this one. This one is minus 4a1. Now listen. If, if this is the format of the parabola, so the vertex is 0, 0. In this one also, the vertex is 0, 0. And in this one also, the vertex is 0, 0. And here also, the vertex is 0, 0. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Coordinates of the focus. See, at this point, this is the focus. So that is called A, 0. 
on the x axis mm -hmm. on the left hand side this is minus a comma 0 see here it is going mm -hmm. to be here so that is x is 0 y is a 0 comma a. this is 0 comma minus a. got it mm -hmm. this is the vertex you can see in the diagram all the vertices now the equation of a directrix, the fixed line, the fixed line is called the directrix. So fixed line, so this is a fixed line. And this fixed line, see, from the origin, origin is the midpoint. Origin is the midpoint. So from this point, the distance is A. This distance is A. So the directrix will be same distance back. So this is also A. So this point can be said as minus A. So the equation of the directrix will be x is equal to minus. Directrix is that imaginary. Yeah, that imaginary line. straight line. A straight line, a fixed straight line. And it is at the same distance from the vertex at the same distance as like the focus. But on the other side. Yeah, so it's on the like other side. Yes. Negative focus. Negative, yeah. Because this is the origin. This point is the origin. Yeah. This one is the origin. So from the origin, you are moving this A distance positive. So you reach to focus. And on mm -hmm. the from the same point, if you move left of it, so that is minus A. Done. Got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Similarly, if you do here, so this will be a line. So this is your minus A here. But if you move right hand side, so that is your A positive. That's why it is x is equal to a. Got it? Because you are, this is the line, so that is x is equal to a. Understand? Mm. Because we are cutting okay. on the x-axis. That's why it is x is equal to a, this is x is equal to minus a. Now, if we see for the next third parabola, so this will be a line like this way. It will cut the negative y-axis, so minus a. And that will be y equals to minus a. Got it? y equals mm. to minus a. And if we for this one, this one is for above. This is your minus a, it will move up, so that is your a. So y is equal to a. Understand? Yeah, got it. Yeah, so equation of directrix is fine for me. now. Equation... Okay, do you think it's the same? It's okay if it's the same? If it's the same means? Like x is for the first case also it's minus a for the second case also it's minus a. Oh, that is different. X x is equal to minus a and this is y equals to minus a. Oh, okay. Okay. Because it is cutting the x axis. So we are getting a point on x. It is cutting yeah, the y yeah, axis. Okay. So that is a point on the y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now equation of axis. First of all, what is x? axis about which the parabola is symmetrical. This is your axis. Parabola is symmetrical about this axis. Fine? This is your axis. Yeah. Para a line about which the parabola is symmetrical is called axis. So this is your axis. X-axis. But the equation of x-axis is y equals to 0. Got it? Yeah. This is the parabola is symmetrical about this axis. That is the x-axis. But the equation of parabola is symmetrical about this x-axis. But what will be the equation of x-axis? That is y equals to 0. In the second case mm -hmm. also, it is symmetrical about the x-axis. But what is the equation of the x-axis? Equation of the x-axis will be y equals to 0. Now, in the third case, mm -hmm. The parabola is symmetrical about the y-axis. Parabola is symmetrical about the y-axis. But what is the equation for the y-axis? X is equal to 0. In the last case, the parabola is symmetrical about the y-axis. But what is the equation for the y-axis? X is equal to 0. Got it? Yeah. Understand? Yeah, I got it. Note down till here.
now the lattice rectum of the parabola. Lattice rectum means a line, a line that is perpendicular to perpendicular to the axis, and this is parallel to the directrix. Parallel to the directrix. A line that is parallel to the directrix. Now, if we have to find the length of it, so length of this is from here to here. So for finding the length of this lattice rectum, let's say this point is having a coordinate of a comma b. Can we say that? Yeah. A comma b. This point mm -hmm. is having a coordinate of a comma b. So now, if we have to find the length of lattice rectum, means we have to find this length. So yeah. let this coordinate be a comma b. Now equation of the parabola is y square equals to 4ax. So the value, we can put this coordinate here. So that is b square and that is 4a. And the value of x is a. Fine? Yeah. So b can be right 2a plus minus 2a. Because yeah. b square is equal to 4a square. So b will yeah. be yeah. under yeah. root of 4a square under root of 4a square is plus minus 2a. So this point you got 2a and this point you got minus 2a. So if we find the length of this line, so that is going to be this 2a and this 2a. So this total length will be 4a. So that's why we have taken 4a. Understand here? Yeah. For everyone, for everyone it will be 4a. Yeah, got it. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, fine. Now, let's see. No. Focal distance of a point. Focal distance. So the distance from the focus. If any point is there, we have to find the focal distance. Focal distance is given by x plus a. x coordinate plus a. This is a my distance of the focus. Focal distance. Now, we have to go for the parametric coordinates. Parametric coordinates is given by, that, that you have to memorize. The parametric coordinates is given as 80 square and 280. If you are taking on this one, 80 square 280. And if it is here, so it, the x coordinate is negative. So that's why it is minus 80 square 280. And this is 280 comma 80 square. And this is y is negative so minus 80 is okay if we have to go for the parametric equations so see for the x coordinate that is x is equal to 80 square for the y it will be y equals to 280 for the x coordinate it will be minus 80 square and y will be 280 here it is x is equal to 280 this only and the y is 80 square and here it is x is equal to 280 and y is equal to minus 80 square that's it. Now see, if a parabola and line is there, so the equation mm -hmm. of tangency, condition for tangency and point of contact. Let's say this is a random parabola and a line is touching this. So this is called the point of contact. And this is the condition for tangency. So if it is a parabola, y squared is equal to 4ax. So the line is y is equal to mx plus c. That's line equation is always taken as y is equal to mx plus c. You must be knowing this is the slope intercept. Slope intercept form. So the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c. Now, yeah. the point of contact, point of contact, this one, this is given as A over M square, and this is 2A over M. This is the point of contact. 
पूरे ऊपर एंड नाउ द कंडीशन ऑफ टेंजेंसी इज गिवन एज c is equal to a over m c is equal to a this is the point of contact a over m square and y is equal to this one so now you can say how the point of contact came you can even derive it when we can derive this formula like how to get the point of contact by solving the two equations oh okay just make a note of it just you can see like if it is uh, if it is y square equal to 4x so x is positive so x coordinate is yeah. positive y coordinate is positive if it, the x coordinate is negative so x is negative and then y is also negative if it is 4ay both are x and y positive so both positive just it got swapped it is mm -hmm. a over m square it is 2a over m now it is 2a over m and this is a over m square in case of the 4a by And if it is minus, okay, how did we get this c is equal to a by m? That's also we can derive it. Yeah, we can derive it. The condition of tangency we can derive. Okay. Now equation. equation of tangent in different forms different forms of the equation of tangent on the parabola so first is called point form the this is a parabola equation given parabola equation is mm -hmm. there y square is equal to 4ax and let's say at any point x random point any point x1 y so see what happens the y square converts to y times y1 the point y2 a Mm. Yeah, and that x converts at x plus. X. This is the equation of a to the parabola. But why is it two a? Shouldn't it be four a? No, no. Actually, the thing is that in place of y, y is substituted by y y one, but the x is substituted by x plus x one over. That. Plus x one by two. By two, so that two got cancelled out. Okay. Now the parametric form. The parametric form it again in the parabola is this, and at the point eighty square to eighty, so it is like t y. X plus eighty square. This eighty square. T y equals to x plus eighty square. Then we have the slope form of the parabola. If this y equals to m x plus t y, and the coordinates of point of contact are this. Coordinates of point of contact is a over m square and two a over m. No return. So three point three forms it is point form, parametric form, and the slope form. Okay. Equation equation of chord. Whenever we draw chord, so it will pass through two points. Hmm. It will be at two yeah. points. So like this is the point P, and this is the point Q. The point P is given the coordinate x one y one. This is given as x two y two. So the parabola is this. So this is the equation. You have to memorize all these things. And sometimes it is a parametric form. Whenever we say parametric form, so it is eighty square two eighty and eighty square two eighty two. This. Mm. Mm, I think in the next session I will prove all these things. That will give you more clarity. Condition for the chord to be a focal chord. Now, sometimes they ask question like, "What is the condition that it will be a focal chord?" And they or they might give the focal chord. So, focal chord condition is that the product of t one and t two should be minus one. Over here, instead of a uh, a t one square a t two square, if it was just a t no no one no, will, if, no 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 if if we are talking about the parametric form, we will always take a t square and two a t. Will not change it. These we are the fixed. Yeah, we always use square only. 
will not change this. So thing. even if the number is not a perfect square, we should no 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 no, no. no. The condition will be given like that. It will be it will be taken. Fine. I will I will do the proofs of this in the coming session. I will do. Okay. Yeah, I thought the formulas will work out, but uh, I believe the proof should be there. So the length of the focal cord it is given by PQ. PQ is given by a t one t t one t two minus t one whole square. But you have to memorize the formulas. If I do proof also, na, then also you have to memorize the formulas. Okay. Now two more. Forms I'm showing you. Now the mm, what we have done till here is the parabola having the vertex at the origin. Now let's say the vertex is not the origin; it is somewhere else on the graph. It is not origin. In that case, yeah. Standard parabola having vertex at any point. So this is the equation we have to write for vertex in the vertex at any point. Let the vertex is at any point h comma k, h comma k, and this is the lattice system. You know that is four. The focus is the focus is a plus. Hello. Hmm. The focus is any point. The lattice system is four a. And this is h plus yeah. a comma k, and this is the mm -hmm. this is the, ver the vertex is a uh, vertex is h comma k, and this is going to be yes. h minus a. Opposite. Yeah, opposite. Yes, other one will be just opposite of it. Two more forms on the y-axis. You can make a note of it. This is x minus the vertex is getting subtracted, na? Like x minus h. See, before the equation was, before the equation was like x squared is equal to four a y. Why? Because the origin was zero zero. But now it will be x minus zero squared, and this is y minus zero. So now, but the now the vertex is h comma k. So in place of zero, it is h. In place of zero, it is k. Okay. 